Hey what's up gangsters welcome to the 10th selenium web driver tutorial in this tutorial we will be looking into how we can use eclipse ide to create java programs and execute them so basically if uh, you guys have never worked with eclipse ide and have never created java programs and executed them don't get disappointed i will ensure that uh, whatever concepts are explained in this particular tutorial series i will be making it uh, as simple as possible for you guys to understand so basically just uh, stick to this particular tutorial series and in the end uh, i hope you will be able to understand whatever concepts i am going to explain in the upcoming tutorials so basically let's get started with uh, creating a simple java program so as you can see this is the eclipse ide and uh, in file what we are supposed to do is uh, we are supposed to create a new java project so under file new java project you can uh, name the project uh, as uh, say suppose sample project okay and you can click on finish once the name of the project is uh, set so under this uh, project you have a uh, few things such as uh, source that is src folder over here uh, all your java programs will uh, reside in this particular folder so basically this is a folder where you will find all your java files that you have created and we have one more folder that is uh, jre system library so this contains the required built-in jars that are uh, required for the creation and execution of the java programs that we are going to create so basically you need not have to worry about this folder for now uh, we just have to create the java programs and include them in the source folder so basically uh, you can just right click the source folder uh, new and before we can create the classes uh, the best practice to uh, create classes and to include them in the source folder is to create a package and encapsulate your classes inside these package so basically we create a new class and it should be within a package which is a best practice in uh, writing our java classes so basically we name our package like something like uh, com dot example okay and finish so basically this is the package that we have created and we can have multiple number of packages under which we will have different java classes so to keep it very simple i have created just one package under our source folder and you can uh, right click this package under new you can uh, create a class now a java class uh, follows one follows a set of rules and uh, one of the rules is uh, the java the name of the java class starts with a capital letter so it's a best practice to start a java class using a capital letter and start the name of the package using a small letter so basically that's uh, some of the best practices that are followed in uh, java programming language so we can quickly create our uh, sample class let's name it as sample class and over here as you can see which method stubs would you like to create so basically uh, we want to include this main function so basically this is nothing but this is a method that uh, is called once we execute our class after the creation of a java class so once we check that uh, checkbox that is public static void main we click on finish so it will create the required class with that particular name that we had set and along with the method that is public static void main so as you can see we have uh, the package name that we had created and then the name of the class now this public is nothing but it's a modifier which tells us that uh, this particular class will be accessible by 
all other classes that will be included in this particular project and also in the other projects so basically we have some other modifiers like private and some more modifiers we have and we need not have to worry about these things for now just uh, remember that uh, this public is uh, the modifier that uh, allows other classes to access this class again in the method we have uh, the modifier public static void main so you need not have to worry much about uh, what are these things for now but uh, you just have to remember that uh, this is the main function that is you can say a method which will be called once uh, we execute this particular class so basically uh, the flow of execution starts from uh, this particular method and whatever the statements that you write in this particular method will be executed first so let's quickly uh, write a simple uh, print statement so in java we write a print statement using system again uh, eclipse ide provides you with the auto suggestion feature so once you type anything uh, you can uh, press the combination of control and space characters on your keyboard and it will list down the uh, suggestions for you based on what you have typed so basically as you can see we have something called a system uh, as the first option you can uh, select it and period you have something called as out since we are going to print it dot print so we have multiple number of methods based on uh, what kind of data that you are going to provide to this particular print method so basically uh, we have another method called as print ln okay so that is it will it will go to the next line after printing whatever is that uh, as we will be passing uh, the arguments to that print ln function so basically we are going to use a print ln along with uh, the string as you can see this so we will be using this function and type a normal string so let's type my name is abhilash so this is the simple print statement that uh, we can print in java programming language so that's it and we can quickly save it and uh, in order to execute this program we just need to click on this button so as you can see it uh, shows as run so basically it will execute this particular class and go to this particular method that is main function okay and it will execute the statements so as of now we have just one statement that is uh, going to print in the console so basically if we click on this run as you can see in the console section it has uh, printed what we have uh, passed to the print ln method so basically this is the way we can uh, create and execute our java programs using eclipse ide in the upcoming tutorials we will be looking into how we can uh, configure our projects to include the selenium web driver jars and also use the classes from those jar files to uh, quickly create the test automation scripts on different browsers so that's it in this tutorial we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one